guys welcome or welcome back welcome to today's video so i decided to go on buzzfeed quizzes have you guys ever taken those before like there's so many fun ones on here but for the sake of today's video i decided to see what genre i am based on what summer vacation i choose or what popular book talk book i am based on what library i would create i decided to let these quizzes choose the books that i read for the week if you guys are interested in seeing the books that i got from these buzzfeed quizzes my responses to taking the quizzes in the reading vlog just keep watching it was such a fun way to find the books to read and i hope you guys enjoy let's get into our first quiz so i think the first one i'm gonna do is what genre i am i don't know which one that is but i'm gonna have to find the bookmark for it but not bookmark is that bookmark i bookmarked them on a tab on my computer yeah I don't know. That's what I'm gonna do. So whatever genre they give me, we are going to choose for my TBR card, whatever correlates with what they give me. I think I'm gonna do plan a vacation to reveal which book genre you are, because I feel like that would be fun. Plus, I wanna go to the beach tomorrow, low-key take a beach day by myself, and I feel like it's giving summer. So, let's plan a vacation together. Find out which book genre you are by organizing an unforgettable vacation. Again, I have not taken this quiz, so I don't know what the prompts are, I don't know anything about it, but we're gonna do this together. First, where are you going? A beachside resort, a castle, outer space, obviously, somewhere with loads of history, a regular city, I live to be simple. We're going to a beachside resort. That's just how I'm feeling. How are you getting there? On the back of my pet dragon, an ordinary plane, practicality people, my personal hypersonic air spacecraft, a private jet, I need my privacy, anything that's safe and will get me there in the fastest way possible. Loki, I would choose this last one because I don't like planes but i think for the sake of this i'm gonna do private jet we'll be unrealistic here i would love to take a private jet who are you taking with you my closest friends anyone else would get in the way of adventure just me and my significant other who else would i want to take all my friends you can never take too many people just me myself and i a team of people from a variety of professions why does that sound fun? I think realistically, I would do my closest friends. Anyone else would get in the way of my adventure. Like I would want to go on a vacation with all my friends. So if we're thinking about my vacation, either that or this one just sounds fun. A team of people from a variety of professions. I think my closest friends. We're being realistic here. Okay, what are you gonna do when you get there? Spend the days relaxing and the evening under the stars. Traverse the universe. Anything else would be boring. I love how there's multiple O's in that. Visit all the local museums and historical landmarks. Explore abandoned sites and see what they have to offer. Live like royalty with everything handed to me. Why is living like royalty? Why would that be really fun? But I'm gonna do, we're relaxing. We're taking a relaxing vacation. What are you having for dinner on your first night? A picnic on the beach under the stars. Hyper modern food that tastes exactly like what I feel like. Whatever I can get my hands on. A buffet from the local restaurant. A five course banquet. Hyper modern food that tastes exactly what I feel like. What does that even mean? I'm gonna choose that one. No idea what that means. Okay. You get into a fight with one of your fellow holidayers. Not my closest friends and I fighting. Use some hocus pocus and make them see reason. Eject them into the vacuum of space. Nobody ruins my interstellar journey. Kick them off the trip. They can make their own way home. Make things up with them. Nobody came on the trip with me, so there's nobody to argue with. So not that one. Why does eject them into the vacuum of space? Sound really funny. Realistically, I would make things up with them, but for the sake of this, this is fun. Let's eject them into the space. You meet someone during the trip and befriend them. Where do you meet? They were one of my Holiday Palace staff at the local library while exploring that abandoned site on a distant planet at the resort. We meet them at the resort. We're relaxing and we meet a friend. Okay. Finally, what souvenirs are you taking home? An extremely rare rock that's full of gems you can't find on earth. Souvenirs are lame. I live for the moment and let my experiences live in photos and memory. A dragon leather jacket. A piece of expensive jewelry. A painting of local history. I feel like this is most me. Let my experiences live in photos and memory. Like, I'm always taking pictures. I think this is the one that's going to give us our genre. So are we ready to see what genre we're going to choose from? One, two, three. <laughs> romance. Of course I got romance. Why am I bummed? I kind of wanted to get like a fantasy or something. Obviously I should have chosen my pet dragon. Maybe that would have given me a fantasy, but I was trying to be authentic to my answers. So you got romance. This means you love to read about two unlikely or likely who are we to judge lovers whose story makes you feel good on the inside. That is a valid description. We're doing a TBR choose chosen book. What? We're gonna choose from this this pile. I'm gonna lay out my options and then we'll go through them together. Is Flock a romance? I don't think it is. I don't know what that book is. Here's all the romance options that we have. So, The Girl He Used to Know, Midnight Kisses, X's and O's, Throttled, King of Wrath, Maggie Moves On, Life's Too Short, The Final Offer, Book Lovers, and Last Chance Books. Here are actually the four that I'm thinking of. I like really, really, really want to reread Book Lovers because I DNF'd this when I first read this last year. I don't remember when it was. Maybe even The Final Offer. Which one should we do? This is a hard decision. 
Why do I want to reread this? Should we give this another shot? I think I'm gonna go with Book Lovers, which is very interesting because I did not foresee myself choosing this or reading this anytime too soon. I know it's on my TBR, but first book chosen or first genre they chose is romance. First book chosen is Book Lovers, Family Henry. Let's see how it goes. I didn't read too much yesterday because I was finishing a different book. Read more today. I'm on page 109. Getting closer to the part or, or the spot part of the book where I DNF'd last time. Thinking about me as a reader last year DNFing this book to me now, like really enjoying it. It's just crazy how like different the way I feel about books are because I feel like I've read enough Emily Henry at this point where I know the way she writes and I know, I feel like the setup of her books and more of like how the stories, I don't know, how the characters are developed. I don't know. I think I'm just more accustomed to her writing now. So I'm really enjoying it and I'm like so mad at myself from last year for not enjoying it, but it just really shows how different of a reader I am. But I'm loving the banter. Like I seriously don't think that anyone else could write banter like Emily Henry. Like it just hits so hard. And I'm loving Charlie because last year when I read this, for some reason I pictured him as like an older man. I don't know. The first impression of him, I just don't know why in my head I pictured him. Old. I don't know. It was so weird. Now I'm just like loving him and their banter and they're like in the small town and they were hanging out at like the bar or whatever and they were just like doing their thing and drinking together and it was just so good. I'm like annotating it. So my hair is crazy right now. But I'm gonna read some more today. I kind of want to get a bunch done. So I'll update you guys when I get further. Maybe when I get to the point where I did DNF it last year, we'll see. But so far, so good. I'm like eating it up. So Things are looking great. If you haven't read Book Lovers by Emily Henry, it's basically about this girl, Nora, who takes a little small town trip with her sister based off of like a book that her sister loves. And when she gets there, she realizes that this guy, Charlie, who she met two years ago, who's an editor, lives there, so. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna keep reading. I'll update you guys when I get further in and we'll see how it goes. But so far, so good. Okay guys, I just finished Book Lovers. I didn't give any other updates because I didn't have too much to say. I kind of just wanted to put it all together with my final little review, but I'm so happy that I gave this another chance. I feel like, again, I'm just like a different reader now. I really enjoyed this. And what I realized after reading this book and reading three Emily Henry books this year already, I think that every main character in all of the, her books have this one thing that you can really connect with. Like this one's kind of about like sibling relationships and then like happy places about friendships and job profession relationships and relationships in general. I think she does such a good job like exploring relationships that's not just the main character's love interest relationship, if you know what I mean. And I feel like if you can connect to the characters, the story is just phenomenal. The writing is amazing. You like love it so much. And I feel like if you don't connect to the characters and what they're going through, it's a little boring. And I can see why people DNF the books, don't love the books, but I connected the second time around. So if you were like me and DNF'd it or didn't like it, maybe give it another chance because you may enjoy it. But I will say the banter in this book is unlike banter I've ever read in any other book. Like hit it on the, hit the nail on the, what's the, 
It was amazing. The banter was phenomenal. Charlie is like blueprint amazing. I think that Nora is just such a strong character and what she's been through and her past really shaped her into who she was. Being in this small town, I feel like what the beginning of the book says is like going to a small town and realizing that's what you want and stuff, but that's not Nora. Nora loves the city. I don't know. The story was really great the second time around. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I love Emily Henry's writing. I feel like it's just taken me a while to get here maybe. I don't know. I am going to give this four stars. It's not my favorite Emily Henry book, but it was really, really good. There's some amazing quotes in here. I loved the relationships and yeah, it was a four star read and I'm very happy that I gave it another chance. With that being said, let's take our next quiz and let's see what our next book is going to be. The next one is called Create Your Own Library and will give you a popular TikTok book to read. I don't know what books they have on here. I don't know if I've read the books that they're going to give me, but we're going to try it out and see. What color are you painting your walls? We're talking about a library here. I want to say pink, but I don't think I would want a pink library, but I want green. I feel like a green library would be very cute. How are you organizing your books? Let's see. You have them in shelves, in little cubbies. I don't like this one or this one. Oh, this is cute. They're like in the wall with the hallway. I like that one. Okay, what window view would you enjoy most? Okay, we have the water. This one's pretty. Sunset on the beach, I love that. Outdoors, oh, this is pretty. These are all great. I have to say the beach. Anywhere near the beach is where I want to read. What extra addition would you like to add to your library? Study desk, plants, reading nook, fairy lights, balcony, posters, skylight, personal photographs. Balcony sounds fun. Either balcony or reading nook. I'd like to read outside. I love a good reading nook. Let's do reading nook. Oh, that was it. We got the Atlas 6 by Olive Blake. Wait, Am I psychic? I literally have a stack of books right here. I just went to Barnes yesterday and bought some books for a haul. And one of them was the Atlas 6. Am I psychic? Read one for my enemy by her a few months ago, a few weeks ago. I don't know, but I really enjoyed it. So I wanted to pick up this one. I also have another book by her on my TBR this month. So I guess we're going to be reading another Olive Blake book. Wait, that's so funny that I just bought this yesterday. That was a short little quiz. This one was fun. The Atlas 6 by Olive Blake. I honestly don't know what it's about. I don't know. I'm just going to go into it and just read what it is. And I guess when I get further in, I'll have more of a grasp of what this book is about. I don't know, but I really like her writing. So I'm excited to read this. I cannot believe this is what one. I was expecting like, I don't even know other book talk books like i'm surprised that this one is the one that popped up but not complaining because i did not read it and i really like her writing so i'm gonna start this book i'll give you guys updates as i go i'll be back once i start or once i get into it definitely crooked. I just got my coffee. It's the next morning. It's 10 a.m. I read quite a bit yesterday and more this morning. We're doing like a readathon in our Discord for the book club. So if you're interested, we do one once a month. It's like a 12-hour readathon once a month. All information is if you join the Patreon. It's in the description. But I got to page 142, which I feel like is pretty good for honestly, the words on this page feel like it's very like condensed. Like I don't know if you can even tell. Like there's a lot of words on each page. So it doesn't go very quick. It, I feel like also her writing, it's very like takes a lot of brain power for me at least and not the story building and characters and stuff it's more just the way that she writes kind of takes a little bit more brain power so i'm a little slower reading her books but i will say this story is very interesting it's a modern day fantasy which again i read one for my enemy that was a modern day fantasy and i really enjoyed that there's like these six people that all have different like magic abilities and they are chosen to go to the whatever school it is and kind of like compete and like go through different things with each of their magical powers and kind of work together to one day be a accepted in but i think i don't know how many get accepted i'm not really sure but what i love about olivia blake's writing is the way that she builds characters like i feel like even just from the first point of views in each of these characters chapters i feel like i already know them as characters and like they have such personalities and such different personalities and i'm i like it a lot i'm interested to see where the story goes i feel like there's gonna be a lot that's gonna be going on in this journey that we're about to take but not good. Anyway, I'm gonna read a bunch today because I'm joining the readathon for a few hours, so we'll see how far I get. I'm very excited because I'm enjoying the story and I want to see where this goes. So I will update you guys when I get further. So far, so good. It is hurting my brain just a little bit <laughs> trying to understand everything. I don't know. I don't really know, but I'm gonna read more and I'll update you guys when I get further. I just want to let you know that I got a good chunk done from what I thought. Like I didn't think I was gonna get this far, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go read more. Okay. 
I've read a bit further. I'm about 230 pages in. I think it's like 400, so I'm a little over halfway. But I wanted to update because I'm enjoying it a lot more now. I think I had to get through like the initial like build up of the story and like understanding of it. And now that I know the characters, I'm enjoying it a lot more. I will say it's not my favorite book of hers, I don't think, but I like the storyline. It's very interesting. I like that all these characters are just really different, like magical powers, different personalities, different parts of the world. But like when they come together, like it's interesting seeing like the enemies, the allies, like how they interact with each other. And it's really interesting. I don't know where this is going to go. Like I don't know how this would end. So I'm very intrigued to continue and like finish it and see what happens. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know when I'm going to finish it, but I'm very excited to finish it, to see the ending. Like her writing is so intriguing. Like, I don't know. You just never know where it's going to go or what's going to happen. So it did get a little bit slower getting into where I am now, but I feel like it's picking up a little more because again, we know the characters more. And, like I'm more interested, but I feel like it was a slow build up. It was a good start. I like the way the book started. But like right after you got like the base of the story, it like slowed down a little bit, but now it's getting good. So I'm gonna go finish it. I'm gonna see how I feel. I don't know. I don't know what I would even rate this. I don't know. It depends how it ends. I think that's just gonna give me my full opinion on this book. Cause I don't know. I'm just very like all over the place with it, but it's, it's intriguing. I will say that. And yeah, that's all I have. I'll be back when I'm done. I binged this today so shout out discord besties for the readathon because if it wasn't for that and us all reading together I would not have read this as quick as I did because the brain power that this book took out of me was like none other. Her writing is just so, I guess like in depth and very descriptive. Like the magic that was in here, like the politics of the magic in here was very like scientific in a way. So like, I didn't love that. Like I didn't like the politics of the magic, which I really wanted to. I really wanted to understand their magic system and everything and like what they were trying to do, but I just couldn't. Like what they were researching and what they were talking about most times with them in the magic world, I couldn't grasp. So aside from that, I loved the characters. I loved them all together and like how they acted with each other. I loved the storyline was like incredible. The ending was really good. I mean, I kind of like assumed where it was going, but like as it was like being told and like unraveling, I loved it so much. And the end, I think I want to read the second one. Like after finishing this, I don't know when that would be. I need like a book now that would not take as much brain power, but sometime in the future, maybe over the fall, I could definitely see myself reading the book that comes after this, The Atlas Paradox, I think it is, because I loved this ending and I want to know what happens next. And I kind of want more of these characters. So I don't know this is a four star. And I feel like three and a half is too low because I feel like it was definitely a good story and the characters I really enjoyed reading but her writing and like the politics of it I didn't love so I think I'm gonna stick with like a three and a half 3.75 maybe it's like so close to a four but it's not exactly a four but it was good if you want a story like this with like a modern day magical like secret society kind of like dark academia feel 100% read this so I'm gonna stick with that it was like a mid three star but I really I enjoyed some parts and I didn't enjoy others I don't know. It's very interesting. And I would obviously recommend this if that's like the vibe you want. Maybe not for me, most parts, but I did enjoy for what it was. I don't know, but that's how I felt about this one. So now we are going to go on the computer and have BuzzFeed pick our last book for the video. I'm so nervous because I need a book that's not going to take a lot of brain power. So I was going to do another one where they pick my book for me, but I think after getting this one, I need to choose a book for my TBR and I really want to get rid of some books on here. So with that being said, we're going to do another BuzzFeed quiz, a different one that's going to pick the genre we read. Answer these 12 questions and we'll tell you which book genre you are. Are we ready? Here we go. Are you an optimist, pessimist, realist, or idealist? I would say I'm optimist. Yeah. Your favorite holiday is Hanukkah or Christmas, 4th of July, Halloween, Valentine's Day. I'm between Christmas or Valentine's Day. I think Valentine's Day is so cute with all the hearts everywhere. But I'd say Christmas. The vibe of Christmas. Yeah. Christmas. Okay. On a summer day, you would rather go to an overnight camp or teen tour, play outside or hang with friends, spend the day sketching or daydreaming, go hiking or exploring, watch TV or movies. I wouldn't want to do any of these. <laughs> Definitely not an overnight tour. Play outside. But I feel like that's such like a kid thing when you call up your friends want to play. I would not want to sketch. I'm not a sketcher. Or hiker. Not, not that. Watch TV or movies. Or hang with friends. It's a summer day. We're outside in this. Okay, we're going to hang with friends. Okay. For breakfast on weekends, you would prefer to go out with friends or family, make your own breakfast, sleep through breakfast, have breakfast in bed. Breakfast on weekends. I feel like I'd rather have it in bed. I don't want to get out of bed on the weekends. Breakfast in bed. Your worst fear is being lonely, the dark, losing or not being recognized for your work, spiders, or getting dumped. I want to say spiders. The dark is also very scary. 
but I'm not like scared of the dark. I'm definitely scared of spiders though. What makes you most upset is when people are rude to you, harming animals, when you're misunderstood, when people get away with things they did wrong, a non-trusting relationship. I want to say harming animals. That makes me the most upset out of absolutely everything. What would your dream pet be? A unicorn, a dragon, a dolphin, a lizard, an elephant, a ferret, a puppy, a kitten, a turtle, a pig, a cow, sheep, bird, goat, horse. I want to say a puppy, but it's not my dream pet because I feel like I could get a puppy. You know, it's not a dream. So I want to say a unicorn. That's dream. When hanging out with friends, you have fun building things, writing stories, filming videos, watching YouTube. I don't hang out with friends, just talking, playing sports. Either just talking or like low-key watching YouTube or like watching stuff. Just talking. We're, we're chatting. In a long car ride, you listen to music, listen to an audiobook, listen to the radio, or sit in silence. I listen to podcasts when I'm in the car for a while by myself, but that's not an option. So let's say music. Your friends will describe you as basic, lazy, intelligent, hilarious, stubborn, or popular. I don't know. I am pretty basic. I am also very lazy. I'm gonna be my own friend and I'm gonna tell myself I'm lazy, okay. Over break, you would prefer to go backpacking, go on a ski trip, go to a resort, go sailing, visit family, stay home, go on a service trip or a language immersion trip. I would go to a resort. In your daydreams, you think about what you want to learn next, find yourself dwelling on the past, think about meeting celebrities, find yourself getting lost in your daydreams, think about going to an amusement park. Thinking about meeting celebrities because I wanna meet Harry Styles. <gasps> Ooh, we got science fiction slash fantasy. That's fun. I mean, I really would love a little cutesy rom-com to get my head out of Atlas 6 and what it did to me, but this is fun. I know you guys are looking at this and I just want you to know I'm not choosing this. <laughs> so don't get your hopes up. Should I do this one? This one's like intriguing me right now. I also have Arch Enemies, but I don't think I want to read that. This is like my TBR that I should be reading, but I have another TBR that I just made a book video on down here. Let's see what's in there. A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. The Book Eaters by Sunyi Dean. Or Belladonna by Adeline Grace. Now this is the one I should read because it's on my TBR that I chose for this month. But right now I'm kind of between these two. I like really want to read another book by the same author as Divine Rivals, but also it's on my TBR. What do I do? <laughs> I'm going to stick to the TBR. I feel like I should just stick to it this month. I'm really trying my best over here. So our next book is Belladonna by Adeline Grace. I'm excited. I heard there's romance in here. I don't know exactly what it's about. I think it's like a mystery. There's romance. I don't know, but I will update you guys. So let's read this. Hi guys, I have a Belladonna update. I read a bunch today and honestly, it wasn't for like that big of a chunk of time. I feel like this book goes really, really quick. The way it's written, we'll get into that. But I got to page 145 and the words are like pretty big is what I'm trying to say. I think like the words are big, the way it's YA and just the way it reads and the way it's written goes really fast, at least for me when I'm reading it. So I got this far in. It's basically about this girl, Signa, and all throughout like growing up when she was like baby, even until now, like death has followed her and not even just like people around her dying it's like the actual shadow of death like she has spoken to so now she is sent over to her uncle's estate and she's living with that family but there's like things going on there and she kind of has to work around to figure out i don't know if i'm giving anything away but she has to work around kind of like a mystery and figure something out within the family i don't know but i heard that like death in this book is the romantic interest but death so far from what i know is just like the shadow of a creature that she could speak to it's not like a person you know so it's very hard to like form opinions or just like think of it as like a character in the book i don't know it's very interesting it's very i don't know i think the way it's written is not my favorite it's feeling very like surface level just telling a story it doesn't feel like i'm really in the world it doesn't really feel like i'm connecting to it like the story is good it's interesting of what's going on it's more of like a mystery going on but the way it's written i don't think i'm like enjoying that much or that part I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I think I just have to keep reading. I'm gonna read a good chunk tonight. It just started raining, which is my favorite reading weather. I put on The Parent Trap as my background movie for tonight. So things are going great here, but I'm gonna keep reading and maybe the story will just pick up and I'll just start loving it. Cause I know so many people are like obsessed with this book and like love this book. So I wanna understand why. I do wanna say though that underneath the sleeve, the book is beautiful. Like this is so pretty, but yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm gonna go read a bunch tonight and I will update you guys tomorrow maybe. See how far I've gotten. I don't know. Yeah, okay, I will be back. Okay guys, I 
ended up finishing Belladonna this morning. I read a bunch last night and then binged it this morning. I will say that this book is just such an easy fantasy to read. Like if you're wanting a fantasy that's not very hard on the world building like this, like if you read it, it feels like it takes place in like the 1800s times. It's more of that vibe than like a world building with magical creatures and stuff. Like yeah, there's like death and different things and like ghosts almost like a paranormal type of fantasy vibe it's not like difficult so if you want like an easy read of a fantasy i would definitely recommend this one i will say i don't know how i feel about this because i thought i was gonna love this and i thought this was gonna be like a five star read because i've seen so many good things about this book but i didn't connect with it like at all i will say it was very entertaining i just don't think i liked the writing style like the pacing was a little off for me it wasn't flowing very well for me at least and the romance that was in here i don't think i connected with at all like i've really just didn't enjoy it like something about it was just rubbing me the wrong way i don't know but there's something that happens within the romance more towards the end that you find out and i actually guessed that and assumed that that's what was gonna happen well in the beginning of the book like maybe like first hundred pages like i knew that that's how it was gonna end i will say i picked up the last like a hundred pages for me and i think i enjoyed the mystery of it and solving that more than i did the romance and the storyline of her story like i don't really think i enjoyed the main character maybe that's what it was i don't know i literally can't pinpoint what it was about this book that i didn't absolutely love there's like little things that i didn't enjoy and that kind of like leads me to how i think i'm gonna rate this i think i'm gonna rate it a three and a half star I wasn't gonna read the second one that comes out next month but i think for the sake of the ending i really enjoyed the very ending of this book where i could see myself reading the second one and then i was gonna give it three stars until that ending happened i was like okay i can see where this is going but i can totally see why people absolutely love this book i just something about it wasn't for me personally but i would recommend it and i could see why so many people love this book but i just don't think yeah i didn't like it as much as I thought I would but like not in a bad way like it wasn't a bad book that's the last book for this video thank you guys so much for watching this was so much fun I will link down below the BuzzFeed quizzes that I took if you guys want to take them and try it out for yourself and if you find any other ones or any other video ideas that you want me to do that pick my reads let me know this was so much fun it was really interesting to see like the BuzzFeed like the book that it shows for me seeing what genres I would get I don't know it was just a fun thing to do and thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know if you did let me know what you want to see from me in the future let me know your thoughts on these books if you've read them any opinions down below and yeah that's all for me so again thank you guys i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you hopefully in the next one bye